Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we have what I like to describe as Giant Slayer speakers. Um, David and Goliath style. Um, you all know I love a good bang for buck speaker and um, I, just, I just love it when the little guys can compete with the big guys. So we have PSB in house today. Um, the Alpha 5 bookshelf speaker and the T20 small floor stander. As you can see of all the guys behind me, this is a small floor stander. But both of these offer exceptional, exceptional value. Um, and if you're lucky enough to be in um, South Africa, they are on special. Let me just put that a bit softer. They are on special this month of March. Um, combined with a Blue Sound Power Node streamer. So, if you're not familiar with the Blue Sound Power Node streamer, it is the Blue Sound platform but a powered amplification all in one box. Very much like the Node i2, just you have two times 60 watt NAD amplification built in. So, it's a very good um, platform for stereo listening having streaming all in one but you can also connect it to your tv unit via hdmi or optical most of us are doing hdmi arc so that's the way to do it um, especially if you're simplifying a setup where you want to have good stereo but you still want to do tv you want to have all the functionality of streaming that's the way to go and with the special prices they're having i will link them so you guys can click there and go and have a look um, either the Blue Sound Power Node with the Alpha 5s or with the T20s. I'm going to play some demos now so you guys can hear what these sound like. Um, I'm going to go do A-B testing, that's why I'm sitting down so I don't need to get up doing the buttons. I'm not going to be swapping them around because we day, today we're not doing a comparison between different brands. Same brands, same sound structure, only difference is on the bookshelf the tweeters at the bottom and on the floor standards up top but as you can see they are more or less in line um, yeah same configuration on the mid base just this is a two and a half way so it has the extra base driver the thing these speakers do very well is the base um, <laughs> I can't tell you how much base this little floor stander has um, Normally these floor standards shy away most people because they want they want this they want the hulking look I promise you the base on this is not far off from the base on this it's exceptional what they do um, rear ported speakers so you have to check how far you put them away from the wall the closer you go to the wall the more base reinforcement you are going to get and the more boomy it might sound. I have found them very versatile in their placements. They have not been tricky to place. They have been not been tricky to pair to amplification. So actually very chuffed with these. Um, okay, what else can I tell you about these? Now nah, let me start talking and um, start doing the demo. I'm just going to go back to start from the beginning. And then I will go through a few songs doing A, B, A, B. First up, the T20. Alpha 5. I'm gonna call them bookshelf floor standard from now on now. Floor standard. You can hear that low down extension just that tad more. More or less the same there. That's where they make a difference. Yeah. Okay, we'll stick with the bookshelf. Floor 
Costello.
Guys, these are phenomenal, phenomenal David and Goliath speakers, man. Um, if you guys have not demoed them, I encourage you to go and demo them. They will surprise you. Bang for buck. Um, I have gotten great respect for PSB speakers, Canadian speakers, um, Canadian drivers. They got this carbon look, their build quality is on par. They have some of the best magnetic grills if you did not see in my original video. They just clip on like this. You just need to align them. There you go. Beautiful little grill. Um, I actually don't mind them on or off. They are, they are beautiful. Uh, just blown away blown away by their performance to give you an idea how much bass these small little speakers give when i had them in the cinema of the unboxing because normally as i unbox them i start testing them there um because that was my way of seeing what how do they perform on receiver then i bring them to the front and i had them on the rotel on the peach they perform brilliant on the receiver and i cranked them a bit and um in that cinema, I have the Denon 8500, and that is the only one that has the light-up remote. Downside to that light-up remote, when I put it down on my couch watching a movie, I need to turn it upside down because it's motion sensitive, and the bass from my subs lets the lights go off. Um, <clears throat> when I'm playing my deaf deck speakers, because they have insane bass, same thing, the lights go off. I've never had a set of small floor standers let that remote go off and these did when that bass hits my remote goes off um, i actually have a small little video i took i'll see if i can add that in this without looking weird so you guys can just see the way i did that um, phenomenal phenomenal value so um have a look at the combo that's being offered now um, if you guys just want the speakers on their own, you can always contact me or look for your local supplier of PSB and NAD and see what deal the guys can do for you. Um, but yeah, if you're in SA, we have the special running now. Obviously, I can't do better than that special because the prices are cut down hectically already. But um, insane value, guys. Okay, if you want to see more of this, please like, subscribe, share this video and let me know the next thing you guys want to see. I listen to all your comments as you guys have seen, if you guys give me a suggestion, I'll do it. So that's why I'm doing it. It's for the fun. Okay, guys. Till next time. Cheers. Bye.